8 News Now at 6.30. The Golden Knights are at Toronto tonight, game two of this four-game road trip. And one of the most popular players on the entire team, of course, is tough guy Ryan Reeves. Ron Futrell sat down with Reeves and gives us tonight's striking goal. Okay, Kirsten O'Brien, hockey is, of course, a fast, graceful, sometimes even elegant sport. But it can also be very brutal. Every player has to be tough. Every team has to have at least one tough guy who plays the cop and preaches peace through strength out there on the ice. Now, warning to those watching at home, okay? We're going to show some fighting in this story, okay? You know, I think if you try and take fighting out, it's going to get so bad that you're going to be begging to bring it back. Ryan Reeves and Scott Sabrin. Reeves is the cop on the ice for the Knights. So we'll get to more of that in a moment. But first, what's the deal with him and Evander Kane of the Sharks? Evander Kane, is he your buddy off the ice? No. We're not no way. Ice. No, absolutely not. No. That's real. Yeah, that's real. That's, uh, you know, and I've, I've only met him once or twice off the ice, you know, for, to say hi. We've had bad blood since junior, and uh, I'm just not a fan. Just for the record, there are a lot of hockey players who fight on the ice, but they're friends off the ice. Now, hockey polices itself. Take the recent example. Alex Tuck of the Knights takes a hard shot from Adam Lowry. The next time they drop the puck, it's Reeves making the perpetrator pay. They're trying to get rid of it, but, you know, hockey's so fast and so physical, and things happen so quick that, you know, if you get rid of fighting, you know, something's going to happen to one of these star, star players, uh, and there's going to be nobody to stick up for them. And then what? You're going to start losing guys because... You know, guys are now not afraid to take liberties on, you know, the Connor McDavid's, uh, you know, the Mark Stones of the world. You know, those top players on each team, nobody's going to be afraid to go after them. And, you know, you're going to start losing guys. Indeed, the game would get more brutal if it were not for the tough guys out there on the ice. From that, we go to a fun family photo of the flurries. At practice, how about, how's that for a transition? Uh, at practice recently, I caught Marc-Andre Fleury out there with two of his daughters, his two daughters. He has a son that was born here last year. Not ready for skates quite yet, but they had a hard time getting the puck past Pops, okay? <laughs> he was pretty good there, pretty brutal. He's a Hall of Famer, so he's pretty tough in if, the next. If they do get the puck past Pops, they're going to get a contract in the NHL because well, that's they, pretty they, tough to do. They may be able to. That's kind of go to dad, go to work with dad day type mode. That's fun yeah. for them, you yes. know? Hang out on the ice. And uh, by the way, Reeves has got quite a jab. Nice cross. Oh, he does. Uh, you wonder if he takes some boxing I think, lessons. I think he might have boxed as a kid or something. <laughs> We've had some training. Oh, do you want to mention Carlos? Still tied right now? Yes. Still tied uh, going to the shootout. So tied oh, at one okay. between Toronto. They are now in the overtime period. Uh, actually, overtime period right now. Got Live it. updates okay. here on 8 News Now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Ron. Well, when the mob had control of Las Vegas, next in our month-long trip through the decades, we look back at the era of bell-bottoms and casino skims. Ted? Brian's wearing bell-bottoms right now. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a break from those high 70s we've been seeing lately. Your forecast.